Bye, Evner. This is Fatih Zetunjian coming to you from Marseille, France. It's my first time here. We just arrived. I'm very tired. If I look like I just woke up, it's because I did. So we're very hungry. We're gonna go explore around a little bit, grab some food. If you guys have any suggestions about places to go, I obviously brought the Little Armenia's book with me. So we're gonna find some Armenian places as well in this journey, in this trip. And also we have some fun adventures planned ahead. So let's get it started. As you can see a lot of things are closed on the streets it's Sunday so today will be a calmer exploration tomorrow we'll get things started after taking a tiny nap and settling in a little bit I'm at the port now this is the old port uh, and I saw that there's a market so I'm gonna go in see let's see what they have um, and I also wanted to say first impressions of the city I know I've only been here for a few hours still and just in this little neighborhood but so far I'm seeing a lot of um, young people a lot of people out and about drinking having fun singing songs playing chess and a lot of tourists so so far it's a very lively vibe so I'm enjoying this let's see what they have at the market here We decided to walk around a little bit and we ended up finding the typical French Arc de Triomphe that you can find in every French city. Let's go check it out up close. Oh my god, this is a surprise. Uh, I believe this is a government building and on top of it there is a huge banner commemorating the Armenian genocide. I'm going to quickly check on uh, Google what building this is. I, it looks like a, yeah, it definitely looks like a government building. The surprises continue. So it turned out that it's the region's administrative office and I'm seeing a khachkar, a cross stone. And here there is a very old, remains of a wall of a building i'm gonna see if i can find a plaque or something that explains what it is it doesn't look like that exists if any of you guys know let me know in the comments Three quick facts about Marseille before we continue this journey. Number one, Marseille is one of the most sunniest or most uh, sunniest uh, cities in France. It is the oldest city and it's the second largest city. So on the way to one of the most popular beaches in Marseille, which is the Plage Catalan, look what I ran into. So this is an Armenian restaurant here named Gimri. It's been open for three years now. It looks like they have some delicious things. They even have Armenian wine here. It zoomed in. I'm gonna go taste some of the delicious things. I'm a little bit hungry and then we'll continue. I'll pin the location in the description in case you guys are interested in stopping by here before going to the beach maybe or after taking a swim.
After having a delicious bite at Gyumri and on our way back to the port, I see that there is a garden dedicated to Misak Manuchian here who is an Armenian genocide survivor and he settled in France. He formed a volunteer militant group uh, formed from uh, European immigrants to fight against Germany. So this was a nice surprise on the way. Oh my god guys, we were walking, continuing the exploration from the old port which is right behind us. And to my surprise, I'm loving the city so much. Look what I see. It says restaurant Armenian, Armenian restaurant. And look at the menu. It's in the colors of the flag. This is amazing. I wish I knew we would encounter this surprise and I would have saved my appetite, but I have to sit here and try at least a couple of things. I'm loving the vibe here. And one thing I'm enjoying is that in Marseille, I'm finding a lot of Armenian businesses in the center, similar to what we saw in Valence. So this is really nice. I'm gonna do a sneak peek inside too, if they let me and show you the food that they have. Anunus ani ofsepjam, urema yesen adzem bolis, darikus chomser, arten tivakizis kaskan aktarikus, kare vorche, yes posomech usuchut yunaratzem, yev yagatzem kalfayan vorpanoci dunorin min. Tirkagan garavarutianet, mets hantirnaruneta, voravedev to brotzen nesmisht, gichanai yerahanerun, hairen. Bardatrel, Kichmo Matno Tunel, Yevaila Yeram, Yev Gertagandonor and Tunas, Turk Gertagandonor Tunel, Inti Hantir Patsam. At Michosini Mandanikis, I believe, Gist Selomar Yerguku, Senokis Arten, Hastatwati in Franca, Yev Bududi Amar Franca, Yegavera Tartis, Aina de Nera Asalanki de Ginche. Asalai bat mu tjun nere gar inti simbor asalai karnavacis pas punav gap puriet asalaiet ti dom navor pamaner je iverčo inti pande bine de im pande nazadelu amar jega Fransa. A isto je šaranin kova bez dik hanut maga vor vos ker ti hanut pa za zeron da ga vini rarče ing čančlar he do as je šaran der zahel uzere. Jasharan nal arerenke, pait chukit nalovin chunel ampen mek darima ait pes kich marsh kadere megergo kine ruhe chegrzer ge vailang kotserer kamuto ge porirad ve tanuta chang inti khantrets vor kamos ashkatim ge pena khuanutiet kapchuni iragan pia mech teyev love jashkepi pait chei sirer jashepela. Ինձ համար ավելորդ կործ մներ ատիկա, բայց հայման ներա այնպես պերով, որի վերջո ինձի համոսեց, եկաղոս աստեղը սեմ դասնում թու դարի է, այստեղը կաշխատենք, այս աժմ անցած եմ, տոշագար եմ իրականության մեջ, բայց Երկուկու նույն ադերին բարդատիր եղան արձագուր տարնել և Հայաստան մեկնիլ, ուրեմ են թոշագը մորձանք եկանքոս աշխատել ու կերքի։ Ավ ասիկ մատմությունը։ Last but not least, the yogurt. Mm. This reminds me of home so much. Good 
good morning and Patty Louise last night I was exhausted so I didn't get a chance to say bye to you guys so here I am just want to do a quick recap so overall my first impressions like I was mentioning was that it's very vibrant and lively although I've been here for one day and just in the touristic area so we have more things planned to go and explore and go on adventures so stay tuned there's fun things coming up if you're not subscribed please subscribe thank you um, other than that everything else is good it's really really hot but like I was saying earlier in the video Marseille is one of the sunniest cities in France and it is end of July so I mean that's not Marseille Marseille's fault other than that everything else is good um, there are some roaches in the building of the Airbnb and the occasional roach inside the Airbnb so that's another thing but again I don't know if that's Marseille's fault or it's just the building is infested um, but we're going along with it budget traveling I'll see you guys in the next episode bye